if you would like to turn your glorious messy mat into a menorah instead of a Christmas tree, here are the supplies you'll need. You will need painted paper or a messy mat that will make the menorah. You will need blue construction paper or blue painted paper. You could also decorate it with crayons or whatever coloring utensils you have at home. These are the candlesticks. You will also need yellow paper or you can color white paper yellow or you can color yellow paper or make painted paper. These will be for the little flames on the candles. So you won't need a lot of yellow, just a little. And you will need a background piece of paper. You could use white copy paper, construction paper, whatever you have at home. Feel free to add some texture to it. Again, crayons will work just fine or colored pencils, whatever you have at home. Get creative and just use that. So let's talk about how to draw the menorah. That is going to be the hardest part of this whole process. If you think about a menorah, and I have an example of what um, Mr. Severson's class did last year. They did something very similar out of painted paper. If you think about a menorah, it kind of looks like it's made from rainbows that are upside down. So think about what kind of line makes a rainbow. We've got, and that's curved. We've got curved concentric lines here, and we are going to cut one, two, three, four of them and use some of the scrap for the um, ninth candle. There are nine candles on the menorah. And then of course we'll use some of the scrap for the pedestal of the menorah as well. So you don't need a ton of painted paper. This is the other half of my sheet that I use for the Christmas trees. I'm gonna turn it on the back side so that I can um, see what I'm doing. Grab a pencil. I'm gonna use a Sharpie so that you can see it a little better. And because we're limited to this much, I'm going to start with the biggest arch first. And I'm also gonna be mindful to leave a little bit there at the top for the pedestal. So I'm gonna start at one end and draw a nice curved line like a rainbow. And then I'm gonna go in about an inch and follow that line. So this will be the menorah for the two outer candles. And just so you can get a picture of what's happening here, I'll turn the menorah upright and I'll add two candles there. Does that kind of make sense? Okay, so we'll save these. Let's continue drawing our menorah. Or actually to make things easy, you know what? Let's cut this out first. It'll make it easier. So again, Turn your paper, not your scissors. Nice, clean cuts. Cool. Off to the side here my background, lay my pieces out on it. Oh, it's gonna look so cool. I guess I should go this way. <laughs> I won't have room for the candles. Okay, rainbow. cool. I like it. I like it. So I'm just going to make a rectangle for the middle candle. Hopefully that's big enough there. I like that. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, and then um, I think I'll take this chunk. You can fussy cut. This is called fussy cutting. Um, when you're picking out the section of paper you want 
to use. So this is pedestal material here and I'm just kind of eyeballing it. So it looks like I'll need up to here about. All right, so for your pedestal, skinnier at the top and then you can widen out the bottom or whatever shape you prefer. You could use all kinds of different shapes. Or just blue scratch paper and you're going to just cut straight candles I recommend cutting them thinner um, than your menorah so they fit inside your menorah you will need nine of them and for your candles for the flame using your yellow paper Think about what a flame looks like. What shape do we have going on here? Got a little raindrop shape. So think about what a raindrop looks like. I'm drawing on the back side. So it's wide at the bottom, like a teardrop, and skinny at the top. And we'll just cut out nine of these. Ta-da! When you are gluing on painted paper, you might need to use school glue or Elmer's glue. Remember, you can put this in a little dish and apply it with a paintbrush so that it's easier than dabbing. And I might show you how to do that. Um, if you're applying your paper just to construction paper, you can probably get away with a glue stick. So I'm going to try a glue stick first since that's easier and see if that works. But first, I'm going to make sure that my top candle actually fits on the paper. I might make my candles a little shorter because that looks too tall. Or maybe I'll just make that candle shorter. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to start at the bottom use a messy mat to apply your glue to the back side and unlike in class where we do the perimeter I would apply glue to the entire thing line up your bottom edges and really massage especially if there's paint on your background no puppy ears Oh, I should mention, we cut out, these These are um, like puzzle pieces um, fitting perfectly together. Um, when we did this project in class, we drew it a little differently so that there was room in between each one. If you're having trouble and they're all looking stacked up, you can go back and cut a little bit out from the inside of your rainbow. I kind of like how this looks with this floating thing, so I'm just gonna go with it. But if you don't like yours, you can trim some of the inside of each rainbow arch off, and then they won't nest and just blend together. Okay, so I have glue over this whole thing. And hold it down for a good 10 seconds everywhere. Yep, the glue stick is working just fine. Ooh, see like this one's bumping in to the one next to it, I might trim it down a little bit. I'm gonna get glue all over my scissors in the process, that's okay.
there's not a lot of contrast between my menorah and my background. In hindsight, <laughs> I wouldn't have put as much texture on my background, but that's okay. It's funky. It's funky and spunky and fun. Okay, next are candles. And before you glue each candle, just remember that they will have a flame atop, atop it. So just make sure that the flame actually fits. So I think I might cut my candles down and you can make yours taller or shorter. 